Montvale, Virginia, a torrential rainstorm has been building by the minute. But when the rain turns to hail, Shane Moreland wants to know where his children are. Get, where is everybody? Where is everybody? Father of 10, Shane knows it may take a while to get his kids in out of the storm. Get in the living room now. Where is everybody? Outside, the hailstones plummet out of the sky as big as golf balls. Conditions that could be deadly to anyone caught in the downpour. It takes a thorough search of the house to answer Shane's question. Only now that he's convinced his sizable family is safe, do Shane's fatherly instincts give way to his journalistic instincts. That's because Shane is actually a newsman for a local station. And he knows he's got a big story on his hands. He calls his co-workers at the news desk. Jamie, I got your lead story, man. I've got unbelievable video. It's the kind of storm that comes around only once every 150 years. And it's getting worse by the second. As chunks of ice the size of apples tear into his house and cars, Shane keeps the camera rolling. It's unbelievable. Why don't you get a weather watch? Why don't you break in? And I'll do a phoner with you. It's like being caught in a meteorological shooting gallery. But finally, the atmospheric onslaught begins to subside. The moment the storm clears, Shane is outside documenting the aftermath. His daughters, Lael and Agilon, can't believe what they've just witnessed. In the tranquil silence after the storm, many of the hailstones actually look pretty, like flower blossoms carved of ice. But the damage they've wreaked is downright ugly. Garage door smashed, window. As Shane and his children marvel at the storm's leftovers, the journalist in him just can't put the camera down. Man, that's unbelievable, isn't it? But the breadwinner in him does admit one other reason for documenting a storm of this magnitude. Well, hopefully insurance will cover this. 